the human existence is a funny one. That is, when the gods decided they were bored and created humans. Yes. Fun. But riddle me this. Is it funny when the gods create a winding web of wiles, and the only way out is through lies, deceit, Now, when one talks of Greeks, one would probably think of the mighty Hercules. This story is different entirely. Now, in most Greek literature, there's a lot of irony and revenge. Take the story of Oedipus the king, for example. The gods created a man, born to a king and queen. The child's name was Oedipus. A prophet arrives and tells the new parents that their son will kill the father and sleep with the mother. Disgusted and worried, they send a child with the man to have him left on a mountain to die. Another man takes the child to another kingdom where the king and queen bore no children and cannot bear children. This man gives the child to the king and queen. They raise the boy as if he were their very own. Everyone is happy and safe. Until Oedipus grows up, finds out he's going to kill his father and sleep with his mother, runs away from the king and queen thinking they're his real parents, meets his real father along the road not knowing that he's his real father, and kills his father, winds up in his natural born kingdom, sees a beautiful woman, sleeps with her, bore five children, Finds out the woman he slept with is his mother. Mother kills herself while Oedipus gouges his eyes out. But Oedipus the king may only seem like a small piece of the giant maniacal picture that is Agamemnon. But of course, Agamemnon did nothing wrong. The story all begins with Zeus. You'll never lose a war. You can rule Europe and Asia. Helen. A woman everyone wants. A powerful bombshell. This really, really white shirt. It'll scare them all off because it's bright as the sun. And then we'll you know, all just go back inside Troy and just have a nice supper for all of us. How about that, eh? Uh. Hey. But as Agamemnon was getting ready to set sail to beat down Paris and the Trojans, he discovers something. There is no wind. Sir, we can't leave. What? Why not? Because there's no wind. Why is there no wind? Because the gods don't want to. The gods. <laughs> He wants us to turn the wind back on. What should we do that for him? 
I guess we have to. No, we don't. Let's make him do something for us. Like what? Oh, let's uh, let's let's make him pee on his grandmother. No, yeah? Man, oh, that's that's kind of cool. uh, we could make him shave his head. That's still oh, not. Man, that's no, that's lame. 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 I got it. I got it. Let's make him kill his daughter. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's perfect. Yeah. All for it. Say aye. 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 All against their horses, say nay. So we're all agreed then. He kills his daughter. Very well, my lords.